Hey guys, uh, I was just doing some photos and I thought I would throw on my recording glasses and uh, pretty much just give you a first person view of how I do it. Um, so this is my lighting setup here, if you've never seen it before in a video. Uh, I've got this PVC piping here and the clamp lamps are just clamped onto it and they're plugged into a um, strip right there and over here I've got some cardboard um, I don't even know what you would call them <laughs> I stick them inside boots so that they stick up straight and that they're not wrinkled or uh, slouchy or anything like that uh, so that's what I have those there for over here I've got um, some shoe trees and a trash can nearby the shoe trees usually if they're a nice pair of dress shoes I leave them in the shoes while they're being stored uh, everything I have in here um, I've gotten from the weigh and pay so you know I get them I get them really cheap there I always seem to find them um, but anyways so here I've got uh, some shoes that I've already taken pictures of and then over here we've got uh, the ones that I'm working on those are just some Tom's men's shoes and then over here um, shoes that still need to be taken so <clears throat> I'll just walk you through what I usually do here um, I use an Android Note 3 and here are the settings that I use the exposure value I turn that up to one, uh, 1 usually 1 1.5 it looks good on the camera but whenever I upload them it seems to be a little overexposed and I'm usually having to adjust it a lot from there so I keep it at one and uh, that's it uh, so I'll take some photos here I've already got some if you can see inside some tissue paper to give it a nice um, shape to the shoes so that they don't look too um, misshaped or look bad they just kinda look more like it like natural like what you would, uh, what they would look like when you're wearing them <clears throat> so whenever I'm taking the photos I try to crop out as much as I can from the actual light box so that I don't have to do any post photo cropping so that's good let's see maybe I've been kinda ex experimenting a bit with photos and trying to find what works. Oh, you know what? Where did I put those scissors? We've got a loose thread here. I try to cut off loose threads so that they don't look bad. I think that's supposed to be there. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just going to cut it. Maybe it needs a knot. Ooh. I'm just okay, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to worry about it. So let's do... Something there. Okay, that took way too long. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't do these laces. So here we go. Uh, I'll show you how I do my laces here. I make it to where the shoelace comes, sticks in through this side and not over the top like you would usually wear them. And that is... Man, these look absolutely terrible. Okay, I'm just going to redo these. But anyways, so yeah, I, I that's how I put the laces. I make them end up where the very last one is going to the inside rather than the outside. So that I can stick it behind the tongue like this one and you don't have like loose laces going on it or it just looks a little more sloppy even though that that's the way that it's gonna look whenever you wear them uh, for photos it looks a lot better so that's how I do that <clears throat> lately I've been concentrating more on finding better quality 
items and I think I've just I've come accustomed to going to the weigh and pay so much that I like finding the cheap shoes and I don't mind you know if I have to clean them up a little bit but I'm kind of getting tired of it <laughs> so uh, all this stuff I mean I haven't touched at all I haven't so much as wipe them down and so that's more of what, I'm paying more for them because I'm getting them at the retail stores but <clears throat> um, you know I'm not having to do the work so uh, it just depends on the price I guess and not to say I'm not going to the way and pay even though I haven't been in like a week or two because I've been focusing on FBA but um, okay so here's how I do that I tie a little figure eight knot there and then I tuck it the laces behind the tongue and underneath here so that it looks nice and clean all right but yeah so I've been concentrating on FBA and I haven't been listing so uh, I'm trying to catch up I've got a lot of stuff sitting around there's that let me make sure sometimes it yeah there's that and then this way let's do if you hear that sound it's just it's the photos uploading to my computer they didn't used to make that sound but I upgraded to Windows 10 and now it makes that sound so um, let's peel some stickers <laughs> I've got my pile building up again there my last I had a nice little pile of stickers there before and my dog ate them earlier today he just he ate I caught him at the very end <laughs> I was like oh no and I, I couldn't even um, pull him out of his mouth he, he ate him up so that'll be interesting okay just about done there that see I think I showed these maybe two weeks ago in a PL report and I haven't listed since then that's how that's how long it's been since I've listed I just haven't been I've just been focusing on FBA okay so these loafers I'm gonna put um, some shoe trees in there so that it straightens them up and I have even though the they have shoe trees in the photos in my listings I have a custom um, what do you call those anyway it, it says in all of my listings that shoe trees are not included so nobody gets any funny ideas <laughs> all right. and th this particular brand is Aston Gray I don't think I've ever sold them before but they seem to be good quality and I looked them up after buying them and saw that they're kind of selling for around 40 bucks so I figured I'd grab them honestly I think they're ugly as sin I don't like them at all They're big shoes. <laughs> they don't fit. They don't fit very well. Gosh, I don't know what's going to be better for these. Okay. I'll use the better one of those. <clears throat> and I'll 
take out. There we go. One more. More stickers. These were half off. I didn't pay twelve ninety nine for them. Oh shoot. Those are stuck on. Probably should hook up a heat gun to that uh, power strip that I have and just <laughs> burn them off. <laughs> this lighting setup is built in. I used to have a. Um, like a small typing desk kind of thing that I had my lighting set up on and I decided that I needed to utilize the space around it better so I actually used a bigger set of shelves here and adjusted the shelves to fit all my lighting on and then above it I have all this storage right all the storage here and storage there and then this is just lighting right here some working space so uh, that's how I manage manage that area no photo okay I think that was the last one there And last pair of shoes. We've got some Sperry's. These always look so sloppy and it's hard to do anything with them because the laces are so thick. But same general idea. Stick the laces through the opposite end. I use a figure eight knot because it's easier to undo with your hands, right? Like if you do an overhand knot like usual, sometimes like you gotta dig in with your fingernails and stuff, but a figure eight is really easy to get out for the buyer. <sighs> okay, that's good there. See, look at the look at the difference. Which one is more photogenic? <laughs> the one on the left, right? Okay. So it's it's worth taking the 30 seconds or minute or however long. I mean, I guess I'll figure out how long it takes me after uploading the video, but there's that. There's that. Check settings, still good.
last one. Alrighty. And that's it. That's how I take all my photos. So those are sitting there, and then I'll just go to my computer over there and start listing them all. And that's how, that's how I take all my pictures. Alrighty, guys. Y'all have a good one.